first sighting. Not in a time machine. I remember these back in like the mid early 90s. And they're in a Costco vending machine. Pretty cool. Maybe uh, anyone who's watching this, if you're like past the age of 25, you might know what I'm talking about. These seltzer waters. How much are they? Costco trip. Rachel, what are we coming here originally for? I just the, wanted laundry detergent. The, the detergent, today. but you know how it goes at Costco. You gotta, you come in here, you end up $150, $200 in the, in the hole. Uh, I found some cool things though. 24 eggs, so two dozen hard boiled. They're already cooked, which is actually kind of cool. They're organic. So I can just put some salt and pepper and then maybe some sriracha and eat them like no preparation. That's pretty cool. Not then, all at once so we don't have a blow up. Yeah, and then uh, already grilled chicken skewers, chicken breasts, marinated. For yeah, low fat. Uh, there's obviously sodium in them, but that's pretty convenient. And then um, wild caught smoked salmon, uh, not farm raised, wild caught, it's one pound, pretty good price. And do we get anything else cool, Rach? Cool laundry detergent. These are Rachel's. These I'm a fan of these, but I'm not gonna eat them right now because it's not the uh, sprouted grain. These are. He says this kind of stuff just with like everything I buy, and he eats all of it. But these are uh, really, really soft pita breads that I used to eat uh, pretty much back in the day, and they're pillowy. You can make pizza crust out of them. You can do sandwiches. Papa yeah, they're like literally. You can lay on them like a pillow in an airplane. They're James amazing. Knows all about these. Yeah, our client James loves them, and then of course. Kirkland's beef jerky, thick cut top round, so it's lean cuts of steak, not too much sodium, pretty good. And that's uh, $150 just like that, apparently. Another leg day. Just training legs with John, old training partner on uh, Saturday. I really pushed myself hard and um, I feel recovered. My uh, legs aren't that sore. I. Uh, Increased my weight that day and did uh, 365 for the first time and I don't know how long for 15 reps but here that's the thing is I had big John behind me pushing me forcing me literally screaming at my ear to do more so I have undue anxiety right now like I'm anxiety ridden because I feel like I have to try to at least do what I did last time if not better it but without John here and my little 120 pound wife spotting I don't know if I feel comfortable handling that kind of poundage and another thing is uh, I was experimenting with pentosin, uh, which is polysulfate sodium, and it has hyaluronic acid and I believe glucosamine, and it's an injectable for horses. But I've read enough reviews where humans are using it, and uh, I'm doing anything to get an edge on injury recovery, and I uh, site injected it into my knee. My God, that stuff really burns, so it hurts right now. It definitely swelled up. Um, but I think I'm able to train legs. My flexion's a little inhibited, so bending it. But, you know, it's, it's okay. Once again, I'll explain more about this stuff as I use it. Uh, but it's actually very painful to do localized injection into the tendon. I also did a localized injection in my shoulder as well. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of hurting, but we're just gonna push through this workout. Like I said, I'm a little bit anxiety ridden because I really wanna conquer a better leg day than last time. But without Big John in my face or behind my ear, it's gonna be kind of hard, so here we go. All right, building up to uh, three wheels. Just did two sets of 225, two sets of 135. And, uh, oh wow, look at this shirt. Golden Girls. Real, real cute shirt, Rach. <laughs> right, I'll film this silly set of mine here. Sure. You get the filet of fish. Yeah. I'd probably get the quarter Wait, pounder, double quarter pounder of cheese. I'm just getting a soda. Are you getting a cone? I'm gonna probably get one of everything on the dollar menu. Oh, gross. Are we really just here to get diet sodas? Well, I kind of. Yeah, I think that was a bad idea. 
McDonald's line just to get some Diet Pops and um, I didn't know I'd be this busy. And a new, they have a new family pack of filet fish sandwiches, 12 pack. No, they don't. So we're if going, they did, I'd buy it. We're going halfies <laughs> on a 12 pack. We're going to do six filet fish sandwiches each. filet fish is my favorite McDonald's item. I have not had it for years. I haven't had anything McDonald's. What about a big, big Thousand Island mayo -y, uh Big Mac? No. Hmm. All right, so we're just gonna roll with the no ice cream cones. I just want a soda. All right. Very bubbly. Isn't that any size soda. is a dollar? Yeah. Then who would who what idiot would choose a small if it's all the same price? It's not always that way. No. Oh. Rachel's birthday, making a big trip, 20 minutes away from our home, to stay at this beautiful hotel, Aria, and uh, just to lay out by the pool, and just get away from the house. I'm basically just stay in a nice ass hotel room. I got my food packed with me. And um, actually might take off my shirt, which is gonna be a huge step for me. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rachel. Oh boy. Time to reveal the goods. We're not going to go to the party pool today. No party pool today. Where's the party pool? Can't you hear it? Oh. Look what's that like. I'm bumping. Let's go to the party pool. Show off what we got. Bust open the uh, Costco chicken skewers, and I must say, they're pretty darn good. They're flavored really well, and um, there are two grams of fat per skewer. Not too shabby. Already ready to eat, so they're ready to rock. Have our cooler for our stuff. We can snack on all that. Those help for Rachel's birthday. Already cooked sweet potatoes. Some uh, Papa Pita, Pop Papa Pita, or Papa Pita's pillowy soft flatbreads, so good. and I'm very impressed with the uh, pre-cooked hard-boiled eggs. They're actually not like gross and green. How you know, like Easter eggs get gross and green. They're overcooked. They're actually the yolks yellow and perfect. And then we got the uh, the old salmon there. And Rachel's chewing on some what Belgium chocolate? What is that? I don't know. Deliciousness. Anyway, just showing you guys what we're eating while we're staying 20 minutes away from our house. We'll be going out to dinner soon. What are we going to do? Are we going to do a full dinner or a happy hour? I think we should bounce around and eat a couple different places and just have small plates. All right. Hopefully we can find a place with Tartare and Carpaccio. Let's go to Monami Gabby for their seafood platter. All right. They have, is that happy hour? No. Oh. Hopefully so. I mean, there's right. some. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll film it. Through. <laughs> Found a spot. Almost closing. Gonna get some appetizers and then. Uh, and what are we doing? Going to get your dessert? Yeah, I want chocolate mousse at Monami Gabby. All right. All right. We'll probably get some what shrimp ceviche here. Uh, we're gonna have a fun time tonight. We ordered four or five small plates here and then we're gonna go to have her dessert and have a really good time because it's my wife's birthday and I need to put my cheap ass aside <laughs> and realize that life's not so bad. Alright guys, here's the uh, dishes here. This is the uh, salmon roulette. Here is the whole fish ceviche, right Rach? The whole fish ceviche. Tuna pokey. It's 
state car car right here. There you have it. Let's talk about our little experience we just had. Oh. So, to end our night, we uh, were coming down the escalator from our dinner at, um, what was that place called? Harry Bone? Herring Bone. Herring. Harry Bone. <laughs> Harry Bone. And we're walking, <laughs> going down the escalator and we hear a voice say, oh, how'd you like your dinner? Right? Mm -hmm. Some random dude. Thought nothing of it. Said it was a, thought it was a great dinner. Thanks. Where'd you come from? Well, I came from whatever what, was next. Ragbone or whatever no. the hell restaurant was. Something. We go. Oh, how did you like that? He goes. Oh, it was great. It was excellent. Blah 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 blah. And then all of a sudden he brought up, oh, something about I train at City Athletic Club. Well, that's cool. Anyway, some more exchange of words were happening, and then all of a sudden he's like, hey, can I tag along with you guys? I have no one to hang out with. Obviously, dude's a little intoxicated. That's fine. So then we're kind of like, okay, whatever. And we go to this random bar, and he's in the bar with us, and he buys us. He wants to buy us a round of drinks. I'm legitimately tired, though. I'm like ready. I'm like legitimately eleven o'clock. I'm, I'm legitimately ready weirded to shut out. Shut off. <laughs> so then we're stuck with dude, and he's trying to buy us drinks, and he's obviously intoxicated, and we're trying to like mingle with him, and it's loud. And then he wants to go to to uh, which nightclub? Want to go to the chandelier? Well, he wanted to go to the chandelier bar, which was in Cosmo, and I just wasn't going to walk He's like, there. oh, let's go to the bar, Even let's dance. Even though I told you that's exactly where I wanted to go for birthday. Birthday girl needs to dance, let's blah, blah, blah. And so basically we're with this dude, and he wasn't leaving, and then we go sit down in the chairs, and then I'm like, screw it, this guy's not leaving, so I'm going to talk to him, so I'm trying to talk to him, I'm trying to get to know him. We don't know if he's telling the true story or not, if he's making up a lie, and he's just, we're just going with it. And pretty much we were stuck with a stranger for like two hours, on her birthday night where we want to kind of spend time alone, but that's okay. It's he okay. Friend. He might've been lonely and you know what? He was grateful to hang out with us. And, uh, I did, I bought us a round of drinks and, uh, no, you bought us three shots. Yeah. Three twenty dollars shots. A lemon drop. Yeah. So I'm, I had a lemon drop so I'm super swerved right now. And, uh, yeah, right. Anyway, Actually, we have another bottle of champagne to open and we have like maybe a glass left of the other one. Yeah, it was a good dinner though with those little short, the small plates. And um, hey, people are lonely out there, man. Glad that uh, we could help them out tonight. What up? It's Friday morning, and we are having a little snack here at a crepe joint in Aria. And there's a bunch of desserts here everywhere. Rachel got shown the beautiful dessert that you have got. This is so decadent. A key lime tart. Yeah, it looks like a masterpiece, and then, uh... We so, wanted to go yesterday, but we were kind of stuck with that guy, so... Yeah, that guy really threw a damper on our trip. Um, I got, just for anyone, you'll see in a moment, but just a chicken buckwheat crepe, double chicken. Exchange the, uh, the Swiss cheese for feta, because it's a little lower fat, higher protein. And, uh, no sauce, and you guys will see that soon here. Salmon, hey, salmon crepe, para galo. Galo. That looks like a buckwheat crepe. cheese instead of instead of the old Swiss cheese and then there's chicken breast double chicken breast buckwheat of course for alternative protein source for a carb a carb that's high in protein Rachel got the buckwheat salmon with you got Swiss cheese mm -hmm. yeah Swiss cheese. Still, not, not, still not too bad the Swiss cheese but adds a little bit more fat fresh cream so crepes are legit. So inside the crepe, it's uh, milk, egg white, and what else? No, it's 
bun, um, beer, and buckwheat. Oh, beer, buckwheat, but there's no other? Beer and buckwheat, yeah. That's it? What are normal grapes? Are there egg whites now? Yeah, eggs and butter. Eggs, eggs and butter. Uh, we got the healthy variety. Oh, Alright, busting into my crepe and um, so the feta, the double meat chicken, Rachel's uh, salmon crepe. Mine actually legit no butter there's nothing in it. I'm actually usually you eat something and you're like this stuff is too damn good to be true there's something in there um, so it's nice to have actually a decent meal that you know damn well is exactly what's in there because you watch them do it so it's actually really good and it's not overpriced it's only like 11 bucks which most hotel things are super outrageous and uh, Rachel's is really good too so we're very happy with this place in Aria Jean Felipe Pastisserie. Jean Felipe or Jean? Jean Felipe. Jean. All right, here we are. Rachel's uh, day of Rachel's birthday celebration with some friends tonight. Dinner. What do you know? I'm at the uh, squat rack doing legs again. Seems like I'm doing legs like every other day. Uh, we want to purposely do legs before eating tonight, just to because uh, we're probably gonna eat a little bit more calories than normal. And it's kind of funny that I'm training uh, legs more. Uh, consistently now on video whenever I was competing in 2014 you guys never saw me train legs uh, ironically enough now that I'm not competing I'm training legs a ton on video and I'm squatting a lot more than I ever did as you can see on uh, each each little video clip that we're doing each week and uh, reason for that is when I was actually bigger and heavier I was less flexible I'm still not flexible but I was more I'll say muscle bound but in a way I guess I was where uh, my joints hurt even more so I couldn't squat and I was prioritizing leg press and stuff and now since I'm a little lighter uh, I'm able to be a little bit more mobile with my shoulders and squat and my knees not giving me any trouble right now ironically now the leg press is giving my knee trouble whereas before the squat did so it's all a mess you know I would love to incorporate leg press now but right now we're gonna roll with whatever suits my injuries right now so uh, squats have been holding up pretty well squatted like I said two or three days ago we're doing it again and uh, we'll see what happens you gonna chat it up yeah how about I chat it up so see if I can beat uh, I think last time I got 12 to 15 on the three plates but, um, even better than the three plates uh, Rachel just kind of made me laugh because in 2007, I, I, got, them out. I, got second, I got second place at a local show, and I was convinced I got first place, and she said I was crying backstage. He, did, and he I was, tried to deny that. And I was adamant that I was not crying. And what was I doing backstage, Rachel? I can't flip it around. Just go ahead and say it. He was crying. He was like... Did I really look that bad? Did I really look that bad? Please take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> he knows it's true. This set is for that second place. And then loser. the poor guy was our friend. Did this and instead of inviting him out to dinner afterwards, the poor guy ate Taco Bell and drove like two and a half hours home oh, by himself. You know what? He had to over. All right. <laughs> Smith machine squats, like always. Uh, this gym has like a little 
this little platform here, so it's elevated. I really don't know what other gyms have that, but we're just lucky, so we don't have to buy those $200 Adidas weightlifting shoes, so it elevates our heels, stimulate more um, muscle activation on the quadriceps, less in the glutes, so we're gonna see how this feels. We're going to dinner with some friends for my birthday. I got my Another new Burberry Fit by Vladi. Thanks, Vladi. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to Paris. We're going to a restaurant we've been before, but we like it, called Mon Ami Gabi. It's a French bistro, French American. That's across from Bellagio, the fountains. And we went there with my parents. And now we're going there with some We friends. have footage of that. Did we not put it in? Of, uh... We do. Yep. It's okay. it. Uh -huh. It's already in there. So and already I wanted the chocolate mousse, so we're going here. I love it. About laying it up. Parking at the Paris, Rachel's birthday. Birthday oh. birthday dinner. At Mon Ami, Gabby. Yes. Already already been there with her family. We filmed it on one of the other Hi. videos. Oops, sorry. Rachel, how was your birthday dinner? It was fun. Yeah, what would you like the most? What what food? Maybe the big ass seafood platter that you ordered? Yeah. That was pretty amazing. I really wanted the chocolate mousse and that's the whole reason I went. Well, and for the seafood platter, but... Seafood I platter... I was just so is, full by the end of the, the night. The platter's a little misleading because it comes out of like this freaking ship of different... A medley of different <laughs> seafood items, but it's really a lot of ice. It's true. It looks it looks gigantic, but it really does feed just two. It looked like it'd feed like an army of whatever. It's one full lobster, two a bunch of ice, bunch of ice. and like, well, how many prawns did you have? Like five. It had like maybe five prawns. Oh, I didn't have one. Well, there are only five, so <laughs> I had a little um, cup of salmon pokey. Salmon right? ceviche. Ceviche, yeah, it was good. Good time. And a whole lobster. Oh, I already said that. Yeah. And four oysters. Four or five oysters. Aphrodisiac. Oh, I love oysters. Um, so now we're waiting. We're just hanging out. Waiting for our valet. Thanks, um, everyone that joined and participated. We had a good time. Yeah. And thank you, Vladi, for my Burberry polo, bro. <laughs> he I know, loves I know it. I'm not filling it out how I might have used to fill things out, but it's still okay. Give me a couple months. 1 a.m. And it's hot in Vegas. And we gotta get our Slurpee fix. Just our luck if they don't have the Crystal Light Slurpee, if it's out of order and not working, we're gonna go in here and investigate and find out. No, it's our luck. Every time that uh, we look for these Slurpees, they seem to be the only flavor that's out is the Crystal Light. So we're gonna, we're gonna go see what's up, guys. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh wow, look at this, Rach. Diet Coke Frost. Sweet. That's our only sugar-free option here. We're gonna roll with a Diet Coke Frost chair. Let's do it. All right. Just to let everyone know these Diet or Crystal Light Slurpees are not calorie free, they are per 22 ounces, which isn't mine, mine's bigger. Hers is 22 ounces, it's 50 calories and about 20 grams of carbs. So guys, whenever you're dieting, don't think that it's like your Diet Coke because it actually does have enough syrup in there to give it some calorie content. But I did train legs today, so I'm gonna justify it and I've been uh, a little bit under eating. So I'm gonna treat myself to this delicious Slurpee tonight, Rachel. Looks very nice tonight on her birthday yes. weekend, so. So, we just got a delivery from CNR Nutrition and Fitness, a local Las Vegas meal prep company. This is a new company. They just started up uh, a couple months ago, I think is what she said. And so far, here's, I'll show you the order, and it looks really good. I'm actually delving into my first meal. You can get spaghetti squash, which is almost done, and chicken, and then yam fries. Um, so let's bring out some other meals that I got. Q 
quinoa with uh, the grilled chicken. And if you see, the grilled chicken, it's pretty charred and caramelized. It looks really good. And and uh, they use a sea salt over the asparagus and I think it looks like it's uh, roasted. So I actually specified no oil, no butter on the yam fries because the yam fries naturally would have olive oil on them. Um, they also do shrimp. So we got shrimp here with of course the long grain uh, organic rice and then spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is dry, no oil, and then uh, you can add like kernel seasonings to it or whatever, which I just tried and tastes really good. We got another shrimp meal. Here's a steak with the yam fry. Look at the yam fries. They're, they're once again, they're crusted and have some uh, nice flavor on them. Spicy. A little bit spicy, they're oil free. Uh, medium rare for the steak. So these look really good. And let me see if I got anything else I haven't shown you. Uh, pretty much everything. So we just got, you know, like 16 meals or so, just to sample them out. And then we got, they have like a protein banana bread. So protein banana bread, I think there might be another loaf of something. So we already busted into it and tried it out. And it's, it's low- really good, and I don't usually like things that have protein in them. And it's low fat. Like I like protein. meat, just not whey protein. So, CNR, Fitness Nutrition Meal Prep Company here in Vegas. We're trying them out and I'm going to give my honest feedback. So far the meal has been good. I had this first meal. The yam fries. They have sauces too. Um, I think they have like a sriracha mustard sauce. They have yogurt sauces. Um, so far I've used this this sauce here which is really good for the fries. But that's pretty much it. And uh, like I said, I'll probably use the local company here and there if we're busier than normal for a week. And I just want to take some stress off from cooking time. And if you are in Vegas, there's an option right here for Mr. Olympian USA's CNR Fitness and Nutrition.